Alright, hello everyone, and uh, welcome to the first tutorial on this channel actually. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to keep this tutorial a bit short, because I know a lot of you are actually uh, annoyed with long tutorials. But what I'm gonna show you today is how to have a 360 aiming in your game with... Let me just play the game and show you what you can, what you can achieve by the end of this tutorial. So you kinda can't see here, I have this little character that I can move. There are no animations, so it looks kind of weird. So you can aim up and down, and if if the if the aiming went to the other side, it flips your character just like that. And you can kind of walk. If you went to the other side, it does not flip you. Only when you face the other side, and of course you can shoot, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what we'll be able to achieve by the end of this tutorial so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, show you the scripts and talk to you a bit, a bit about them and I'm gonna include all the scripts down in the description below so you can just kinda you can copy and paste them if you want to uh, however I only recommend you doing that if you are already uh, familiar with C sharp programming if not then I guess writing them is a good idea just to get used to it but uh, it's not wasting time. Here are the scripts. Uh, let me just show you actually here. We got we got four scripts. Don't mind actually. I'm just gonna I guess delete this one. It's not necessary for now. So four scripts, as you can see. And if we just reload all, yeah, great. So four scripts. There's the arm rotation. This one handles the arm because it's a separate body or a separate part. So this arm rotation is what uh, makes the arm go with the mouse coordinates on the screen. <coughs> Move bullet is just a very small script as you can see. And it is what makes the bullets go like so fast. It's what moves the bullet basically. The player script is uh, a, longest, a longer one but it really has some very basic uh, components right now. It didn't add much and uh, really nothing matters here really what what everything what, that I'm gonna show you it's gonna be actually here like the shooting or the rotating and there's the shooting part here which just tells the um, which just tells the <laughs> the hand to shoot you know so yeah and just for the record everything I'm gonna show you is already out there I just kind of put together a lot of tutorials into one video to kind of save you time but uh, but I don't know much of scripting and everything I achieved was through other people's tutorials okay so we're gonna start by the arm rotation since it is the most important one so right on it we have the hit point this is for later actually so we have the direction and this is where the it's a public pool so this is where the hand is facing right is true left is false okay uh, the player script so I have to refer to the player so I'm able to actually flip him over then a camera you don't need this this is just in case you have multiple cameras you it's a good idea to have uh, a reference to the camera if not you can just use camera.main and a public integer that's called pause offset or the positions offset okay so in start the direction is true and this can be this, this means that in start we are actually facing right, okay? But this is really not important since it keeps changing with the void update. So let's just go down and yeah, quite a few things, okay? So for the rotation, first of all, we get a vector tree for the mouse position or mouse pause that's equal to the input with mouse position. It's just an input that Unity gives you. And then um, what we kind of do here is that we got the object position and what this does is it like it gets uh, see here it's the cam and you can replace the cam by camera.main so it gets the mouse position to the world to screen point like as to the screen as a reference and then when you get the mouse position which is x and y it's actually the mouse position dot x minus its position on the screen it's kind of hard to explain to be honest but it just works okay once again if you want to just copy and paste this uh, uh, copy and paste this uh, script then go ahead 
so here we got here we set our angle okay so the angle mat f8 and 2 and it is on degrees here okay so it gets the angle is the mass y mass x multiplied and this is just to turn it into degree rather than radians and here I had a debug I really needed this a lot but now I, I figured it out this was just to know when I'm facing right or when the mouse is on the right side and when I want it to go to the left side okay so there's that there's the transform rotation so this is rotating this is what makes the whole thing goes or this is what makes the whole um, uh, hand face the mouse this is the most important thing but of course you want to set your angle to what it is so everything is important so I have here I just added this lately because there was some some weird offset so basically what the position offset is um, if you just if you just input this with this only with the angle and this what you're gonna notice is that sometimes the hand is um, let's say you were facing right your cursor was right but then you're gonna find out that your hand is still facing down and there's like a there's a degree between them okay you go you go this way and your hand just goes like this so there's a there's a decree uh, difference there's an angle between them an angle difference so this the pause offset is is accounting for that and it adds that difference okay so if the, if the difference was 90 if, you, if your mouse was here and your hand is still here then you add that 90 degree so it's perfectly matches it so that's what the position offset and this may vary according to you but I experimented a lot and I find out that these are the two variables I want and this is here when I'm facing right this here when I'm facing left and there's actually a difference and that's of course according to where you have your sprite set up and I'm gonna go through that uh, later on okay so here I got the whole angle thing like if the angle here I worked only with the angle not with the angle plus offset because I was debugging for the angle only so if the angle is between 0 and 100 so from here to here or if it was from 0 to minus uh, minus uh, to 90 so from here to here I'm just using my um, uh, my mouse is a circle. You can imagine this is a circle. So 0 to 100 is like this, and 0 to uh, a 90 is like here. So this is the right side, okay? So when I do that, the direction, um, if, if, we are, if you were facing left, if the, if the cursor was here, then it went here, then it will flip us through, and it will actually flip us. So direction equals to true. If you didn't have this if statement, then this is on update so the hand will just keep flipping uncontrollably which looks weird same thing here i experimented a lot and i found out that these are the angles that i want my hand to turn in so if you are between 180 or minus 90 and then minus 80 so this whole half circle here then we are actually facing left and that's it and here is just the classic flip uh, you find this in most tutorials so uh, I got this like this is according to the players direction if you was facing left or right and then <coughs> uh, and then it flips in so this is P script accords uh, is the player script and then it flips in and it actually this is a very important point and I was sp I spent too much time on it Basically, what happens is that I had my head point, and when it's when it's facing right, it shoots the bullet shoots correctly, but with, but when it was facing left, it actually flips the whole head point, so it actually shoots the other way, which looked really weird. So I accounted for that by multiplying by 180. So this might vary for you once again, and then we got the basic vector scale. This basically just flips the hand over. Moving on to the player script, uh, same old, same old, just the, just as you have your character, there, there ain't much to change, the only thing uh, I added was this, the direction, it's important, and I refer to the arm rotation, I don't think I really used it, mm. so yeah, this is the only thing. The flip this is what flips the character now as you noticed the character does not flip with the controls okay so for the movements uh, it does not ask the player to flip left or right it's our hand that flips us 
So really not much to say here, just have your character the way it is. This is the most important thing right here, okay? Uh, move bullets, this is something I found in the tutorial, basically uh, the bullet is a static uh, static uh, body, it does, not have, it does not have a rigid body component, so in order to move it, we, we use a, on update a constant speed on it, which is Victor I multiplied by delta time speed, and all this is configured here in shooting. Now this is another thing you want to pay attention at. <coughs> so uh, I set a lot of uh, floats here, but they're not important right now. Uh, the only important thing is this. We are refer to the script camera once again. If you have multiple cameras and angle, I don't think I ever used this once. I guess I can just erase it. This was just me experimenting and the prefab. Uh, like the board that we're gonna create. So what we got is, mm -hmm, if we input, if if we fired, if we press the left mouse button, then here's what's gonna happen. This is the whole void that really matters. Oh yeah, so I debugged a lot to just kind of figure it out. Actually, I can raise this right now. It's not important. Okay. So once again, um. Uh, this gets the. I really don't feel like explaining it because uh, it kind of seems easy to me. But uh, I'll link you down below in the description into where I got this script from, uh, uh, and you can follow his explanations because he did way better than I did. And actually, I don't know this debug anymore now that I got it. So yeah. Once again, the scripts are going to be down below in the description, so if you ever wanted to copy that. And this just initiate the bullets. So really, all this can be found online, uh, but what's really important, the way I set up everything. Okay, so let's just get into that. So basically, I got my player, which is the the whole thing. It's kind of, it has a pivot point there, that's weird. Okay, this is the body. Uh, like the body this is this is what we flip because I asked the player not to flip everything it's important to not flip everything but only to flip the body which is the head the like the torso and the legs we do not want to flip the the hand the hand has its own flip okay so that's why I put it into one um, into one um, like a child that's called body and it has the glows which are like these like the green stuff and it has the body just like that okay I actually put the head in a different yeah head is here you can see and it all has some pivots so um, what I did here is that I added the shoulder part which is this into a as a child into a pivot and what this pivot is, is just, uh, this was just to change the pivot, because Unity does not allow you to change the pivot. So without having that pivot point, I would actually have the, um, the hand would be rotating from its center, which would look really weird. So what I did is I created an empty, child, an empty game object, I set it where I want the uh, pivot to be, and then I assigned the shoulder as a, uh, as a child to it. And then I went here from center to pivot, local, uh, global to local. Okay? And that should fix it. And right under the shoulder, I got the forearm, which is this. I actually, the gun is on the same layer or on the same uh, object. And here we got our for forearm. As you can see, we set all the things that we needed. So, uh, mm, mm, I don't think I need that anymore. Oh, it's okay. So uh, let's go to shoulder. So the shoulder is what is what has the arm rotation script attached to it. I think I had it. No, it's okay. Okay. So the hit point. This is where we shoot. The hit point's right here, actually. If you can zoom on it. No, nope, that zoomed out. <laughs> so yeah, the hit point is where we shoot from. Forearms, forearm, whatever. So let's go back here. So the arm rotation, uh, the direction, this is left and right, this is the player script, the camera that we're using, 
and this pause offset is not important anymore since we are setting it according to the update this was just to change the values and find out what I what was fitting me so even if I change this to minus 220 that will change back to 75 because that was just perfect for me and I set the hit point uh, it's actually not needed for this more for like the forearm here okay so shooting we got the fire rate you don't need that the ace crit you don't need that uh, this is what you need the camera and the prefab what you were gonna create as a bullet and my bullet looks like this it just has a, a line renderer with the material I made and it has the move script or the move bullet with the speed 300 okay so we'll just delete that or they just put it like right here just kind of see what's up awesome so yeah, this is how everything is set up. The player has the body inside it and has the shoulder pivot and the ground check. The body has whatever we want to rotate. The shoulder is is the whole thing that rotates and inside it we got the shoulder of course and we got the forearm pivot. I had to change the pivot for the forearm also, so that makes sense. And <clears throat> we got the forearm and we got the head point. And that's about it. Once again, the scripts are going to be down below. If anything is not clear, let me know in the comments. And uh, really, like, if I if I made it, you can make it. And this was 100% from uh, YouTube tutorials. Okay, I I I'm, I would say I'm not much of a scripter. I don't know much about C sharp, but I just felt like doing this tutorial because because I didn't find a clear one. So I really had to go through a lot to just find it. So I was just like, you know what, um, let's do everyone a favor. Let's create a video about it and where I explain it. Although I did not explain it very good, I understand that. Um, let's just actually go here just to show you a few things. Whenever you have your hit point, uh, let's separate this. So whenever you have your hit point, kind of notice how the hit point kind of wants to flip it flips with the hand but you have to multiply by that uh, 180 I told you about mm, right here because if we then do that and save and just reset the game what you gotta notice is that like when we're facing right it's fine we can shoot but once it flips it shoots inside the character so to account for that we actually added the 180 thing to kind of flip it again so it flips then it reflips uh, back to its original position so we can shoot and that's about it uh, once again if you have any questions let me know down below and if you want to see more tutorials um, I'm probably not gonna be making much I'm, I'm lazy okay okay but yeah, this is really useful, so you really want to have a, a 360 aiming in your game in case you can have a game with like some mechanics such as uh, uh, targeting specific body parts and the enemies, like having headshots and stuff. It's, it's, it can be pretty important. So yeah, have fun. Thank you for watching and let me know what you think.